My name is Hajo Meyer. I was born in August 1924 in Bielefeld, uh, Western Germany. And so I'm 86 years old. And um, I had to leave Germany in January 1939 because from November 1938 on, I was not allowed to go to school anymore. When in, 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 in the Netherlands, I, I first I made my entrance examination still under the German, it, to the university still under German occupation. It occurred in April uh, 43. Then I went underground, and then in, in around that a year later, I was caught and, and brought to Auschwitz and survived 10 months Auschwitz. Um, in my view, I, I was educated in, in the tradition of uh, enlightened reform Judaism without any uh, relation to the prescripts of halacha, but just to the social cultural heritage and the enlightened, enlightened parts of Judaism. This ethical tradition is absolutely contrary to everything which is at the basis of Zionism. Because Zionism was created by Mr. Herzl and, and others who were at the end of the 19th century. And then in that era, it was commonplace to be colonialist, to be racist, to be, to be super nationalist, to, to adore the nation state. So the idea of France for the French, Germany for the Germanics, and, and, and then some some state for the for the Jews. They were very bad ideas, and they all f formed the basis for Zionism. Very often, they cannot get the education they want, and 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 that is terrible. If you are not allowed to get an education, you do your utter best to go against the forces which made you stop education and so you search for education and I learned to get an education by myself for years and eventually had a very high education and, and was very successful professionally but it may, gave, gave me also the, the idea that preventing people, young people who are eager to learn from getting education is a form of genocide because if you cannot realize your own ambitions because you, 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 the access to education is made impossible, then uh, you cannot develop your personality and, and that is a form of slow motion genocide. And, and that's where my great sympathy and, and my connection to the uh, uh, Palestinian youth comes from. Because I suffer, I think they suffer from exactly that. That they very, very often, more often than not, cannot get the education they want. And I think that is absolutely murderous. Besides that many, I mean, look, I was a, I, I was a refugee and they are, most of them come from refugee homes and, and are refugees. So uh, we, we have very much in common, yes. I saw in Auschwitz that if a, dominant group wants to dehumanize others, so as the Nazis wanted to dehumanize me, this dominant group must, must first be dehumanized in, in a way themselves by diminishing their empathy due to, to propaganda and, and indoctrination in order to be able to be as cruel as some were. Okay? But the same holds, holds nowadays for, for Israel. And, and this fact has been documented by, by at least, uh, I, I know two very impressive documents, one by Shulamit Aloni, who is appalled about, who was once uh, Minister of Education in Israel, how hateful, how racist, how depreciating uh, the school books in Israel talk about, about uh, the, the Palestinians. And, and, and Nurit Pellet Elhanan, who, who is a pedagogue in the University of, of Tel Aviv, has made a big study of the school books, and she's appalled about the racism which is t taught to, to children in, in Israel. And then 
you get nowadays the 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 uh, the rabbis in in especially the army rabbis get ever more aggressive. They are so aggressive. They are so racist. It's it's my, and look, it's so it it. I am appalled about how hateful, how dehumanized uh, uh, they th uh, uh, that they do not think see any human aspect in any Palestinian anymore. It's terrible. The Zionists have not any right whatsoever to use the Holocaust for any purpose. I mean, like, like Netanyahu did the other day in, in the General Assembly of, uh, Assembly of the United Nations, he used the number of my arm or the number on our arms to, to, to defend a, a, a coming attack on, on, on Iran. It has nothing to do with each other. Look, they have, they have given up everything which has to do with humanity, with, with empathy, for one thing, the state, the blood and soil, just like the Nazis. Uh, uh, I was educated, in the, I mean, I, I learned at school about blood and soil, and that's exactly their, their idea too. And, and, and human, humans, humans do not play a role. Judaism, as I learned it, is highly, highly ethical. And, and so you cannot co connect Zionism with highly e ethical. You can only connect the words aggressive, uh, uh, oppressive, uh, stealing, robbing with, with, with Zionism, but not highly ethical. Zionism and Judaism are contrary to each other because Judaism is universal and humane and Zionism is exactly the opposite. It is very narrow, very nationalistic, racist, uh, colonialist, and all this. There, n there is no, there is no uh, uh, national Judaism. There is Zionism and there is Judaism, and they are completely different. Take, 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 take these words home and think, 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 think.